Good morning, everybody. Doc Robin here. Welcome to your weather report for the week of July 4th, 2022. We are officially in the second half of 2022, if you can believe it. I certainly can't. And so let's go ahead and dive in here and see what we've got going on. Welcome to the actualization zone. Or if you're watching from YouTube, be sure to head over to Facebook and type into the search bar actualization zone and join us over in that group. That is the place to be if you're an emotionally intelligent, intuitive, smart leader who's creating a new world for yourself and other people. Um, it's a place to be. We're happy to have you. Come over and join us. And today I'm using cards from Colette Baron Reed. Colette Baron Reed. They are the spirit, oops, spirit animal oracle. I love, I love these cards. I love Colette. She's an Arizona person too. I feel like she's got her finger on the pulse of the energies in this beautiful country that I live in, this beautiful state I live in. So let's go ahead and breathe in love and grace and let's just see what's coming up this week. This is the first. Oh, so stag spirit. And the message is to take the leap. It's interesting. It's July 4th in America. We celebrate Independence Day. And I know that there are a lot of things going on in the world right now around independence and freedom that are being challenged. And I totally feel that and understand that. And one of the things that I like to do on Independence Day is to sell, is to declare my own independence. I've done this many, many years in a row. And I started this many years ago when I was leaving a, a relationship and really pivoting my life in uh, the most positive of directions. But man, steer, turning a ship that's headed in a dir direction, especially if it's a big one, takes some, some energy and some attention and some effort to do so. And so I remember sitting um, outside my dad's house in the Black Hills of South Dakota on the 4th of July. This was probably, I don't know, 2004, 2005, something like that. And literally like to, with my full body declaring my independence, declaring my independence. And that was really a pivot point for me. It was a turning point in my life as I really sat in this, the energy and the command energy really of turning my ship in the direction that I wanted to go, even though other people around me didn't want me to go that way, even though other people around me were mad at me or confused by my, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth, confused by my direction, I declared my independence. And so I would encourage you to do the same thing on this day and this card to take the lead with stag spirit, I think is a really wise card that's being shown to us today by the guides um there you know the the energy that i just want to convey to you around this take take the lead is focus on where you want to go next and let everything else fall away let every all of the other distractions let all of the other conflicts all of the other uncertainties that are going on around you just fall away and you stay focused on where you are headed and you take the lead there you step out in faith step out in faith even when you can't see 12 steps ahead of you if you can see a step ahead of you stay there stay where you are take a step and hold your vision you're the leader of your life not somebody else. You're the leader of your life. You get to decide. You get to choose. Tune into your intuitive spirit. Tune into your intuitive intelligence and move forward. Just keep stepping forward. All right? So take the lead. Second card today. I love, I love how this works. This came up last week too. Hawk spirit came up again. This is let spirit be your guide, which goes very well with taking the lead. I think one of the hard things about taking the lead in our lives is that then we kind of go into this fall fallback position of I've always worked really hard my whole life. Nothing's ever been handed to me. 
I should be able to do this on my own. There is this kind of fierce independence, I think, that comes forward when you step into a leadership position. And yet where we're headed now and in the future is in the direction of a collaborative leadership with spirit, with your consciousness. And the hawk card is one of the cards that I love because the hawk shows you the way. The hawk is the, 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 the guide, the representative of spirit. So when you are stepping out into leadership, you're also then consequentially, as a consequence of that, now stepping into a partnership, a reliance with spirit, with your highest consciousness, with the Holy Spirit, with God as you move forward into your life and create what's next for yourself. All right. Let me just see if they got this one. They gave me two. Which one's first? This one's first. Oh, frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. You know, I think the thing that stops us from manifesting our greatest hopes, dreams, and desires is the minutia in our lives, the things that we're tolerating, the things that we're settling for, that we just have around us, that we just have, that have just kind of become part of our environment. We don't even notice it anymore. So this card is really just a call to clear out clutter from your life, from your mind. What are you thinking about that doesn't have a consequence in your life anymore that you just keep on thinking about over and over and having the same conversations over and over? That's a form of clutter. What are you worried about? That's a form of clutter. Not to mention the physical clutter that we have around us. How's your kitchen counter look? How does your bathroom counter look? How is your bed made? I know those things all seem sort of trite, but the universe thrives on order. The universe is order even though it can feel very disordered, you as a conscious creator, as a leader of your life, as a spiritually intelligent, intuitive person, have the capability to move things into order. I mean, listen, I'm not the most, I'm, I'm a little bit messy. Y'all know I have ADHD and I kind of like, I love order. I just don't like to do the order because the order feels pretty overwhelming, but if I can do it in small doses, just even cleaning off my bathroom counter and organizing my makeup and my hairbrushes and my hairspray and all the things by getting ready stuff, that makes such a huge difference. Clear counters make a huge difference to my mind. A made bed makes such a huge difference to my mind, to my spirit. So that's what we do, all right? Okay, last card. Oh, I love this one. Otter spirit. Sorry for the noise today. I'm outside. Life always is here, isn't it? As perfect as we want things to be, life is messy. And otter spirit is here to remind you that you are never alone. You're never alone. And if you feel like you're alone, if you feel isolated, if you feel like you're by yourself and that you're on it, on your own, it is very much time for you to lean into your relationship with yourself first, your relationship with God, with spirit, with source, your relationship with your guides. And then not only that, but then we also have the, the physical people around us that are our supports as well, like me, like the people in the actualization zone like your circles as well. The illusion of isolation is a trick of the 3D mind. It's a trick of the matrix. It's a trick of your ego that creates a disconnection between you and source. But that is only an illusion. And you can break that illusion by turning your attention inward and upward into having faith in yourself, having faith in the universe, the benevolent universe that is here to surround, protect, guide, gift you with the very best. So remember that. You're never alone. Look at little otter. All right. That is your weather report for the week of 
July 4th, 2022. I can't wait to hear from you to see how things kind of shake out this week. And I will see you in the actualization zone for more tips and advice on actualizing your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. See you later.